Hey, what's up everyone? Dominic the Primetime Treasure Hunter here. It is a beautiful day, 80 degrees out, nice and sunny. Uh, it's going to be a great few days of treasure hunting, so let's get things rolling and see what we can find today. Okay, so this turquoise teal house is the first place we're gonna start off today and see if there's anything hiding in that garage over there. All right, so this is the first item I found on the table, this uh, KFC grilled chicken bag, and uh, it's pretty neat. Uh, people love KFC stuff, but this was really the big find. If you ever see anything with Van Helsing, I have Van Helsing comic books, there's Van Helsing DVDs I have. We'll talk about it more in a minute. It's an amazing piece. And this King of the Grill apron, also awesome, just for a dollar for that and a dollar for the KFC bag. Now, don't you just love when that happens, when you make your big score on the first sale, I love it. I mean, with this thing having sold recently, pre-owned for $180, uh, talk to the guy, uh, this thing um, you know, has inflated uh, well the last time that he used it, uh, so I I'm really pumped up. So uh, this, I could probably put up for $200 right now, and you know, Halloween's not too far away, so make sure that you're looking for inflatables, Halloween ones, um, Christmas-related ones, uh, ones for the pool. Uh, they really do uh, sell well. Uh, anything monster-related is great to pick up. So, you know, I'm excited because now, no matter what happens the rest of the day, if I don't find another thing, I'm still excited having picked this up for just $10. But uh, let's continue onwards and see if we can find even more treasures out there. All right, here is garage sale number two. Let's see if there's any treasures on that driveway. All right, so search strategy tip time. I always say look at things on the floor and take things out of boxes. That's especially important here because when you look top down, all you're seeing are white tops. Yes, there is a sign next to it, but still, Something like this could easily be left behind because a lot of people just won't take the time to squat down and pull out the pieces to really get a better understanding of what's there. And there's all these cool scents and fragrances that are used to make soaps and candles. I mean, it's really neat. And these are things that uh, crafters and artisans are very interested in purchasing. So if you could get all of this stuff for just $5, I mean, you just can't pass something like that up. Hey buddy, it's me, Primetime Treasure Hunter. What's going on, man? <laughs> hey, what's up, man? Hey, doing a good job over there. Wow, that's scary. That's better than Daisy does, I'll tell you that much. You know, at first I was a little concerned when I walked up onto that driveway because there really wasn't much there. Uh, but when I walked into the garage, my eyes lit up when I saw the sign that said box lot. Those are two of my favorite words because it usually means that there's a pretty good deal to be had. And so when I saw all of those oils, I mean, that's amazing for $5. I mean, two sales in a row, a great score. So just to give you a sense, uh, 55 of these oils uh, recently sold for $75 in brand new condition. Now, these are not all uh, brand new, but some of them are brand new. In fact, maybe even most of them are brand new, I'm not, not sure. But uh, regardless, it's still worth it for a $5 uh, pickup. So I'm excited about that. And we're gonna move on to the next sale and see what we can find there. And this just, by the way, proves why you have to be persistent. If you remember at my last video, I was talking about, you know, there was like 10 sales in a row where there was just nothing there. But that's why you can't give up. You keep going and then you start off another day fresh and look, First two sales, two nice scores. So excited to keep going. 
All right, it's estate sale time. It's a nice old looking house. So hopefully there's some good vintage stuff in there. Be sure to look up so you could find a treasure like this fireman wind chime. And I'll just hook it right on my box here and carry it around with me. That wind chime, by the way, could go for between $30 and $35. This could go for between $15 and $20. I always say anything that is beverage advertising related and it's vintage, I usually look for, including those stirs that I uh, showed you. They're from Hawaii. Get enough of those and you could uh, have some valuable ones there too. These were really neat. I saw these from across the room. Look how vintage they are. These awesome dolls. I could not pass these up for $5 a piece. I did not comp them yet or do any research into it, but you could just tell from the look of that and the feel of it. I mean, they're just great, cool, unique vintage pieces. And so uh, the person who owned this house was really into colorful items. She had a lot of uh, diverse taste. She was into music. She was actually a pianist. And um, here you could actually uh, see further evidence of that because when you uh, unroll that, it's a really cool symphony throw. And that actually goes right now. It's online for like 55 bucks and uh, I'm excited about that. Any blank media, pick it up. Even if it's just one piece, if it's sealed like it, it has to be sealed, uh, make sure you add it and then you'll just build up little lots. Same thing with the far side books. I find these all over the place. Just pick one up here and there for a quarter, 50 cents. This is a uh, Cheeto lamp. That's another shout out to the Jersey girls who watch. Now, this is another search tip because if you look across, it could be real easy to miss these glasses. And you want to look for certain types of glasses because they can sell well. These are pet related ones. Now they actually came in a set here of six and I'm not gonna sell them as a set. I'm gonna sell them individually uh, because it's not really obvious that they're a set. And there are some really cool uh, dog breeds in here. There's a Gordon Setter. There's an English Springer Setter. There's more common ones too, like you know a Labrador Retriever and stuff. But all you need is one person with a pet-related item to say, oh, that looks like Fifi, or oh, that looks like Fufu. And there you go, they're gonna buy it. So you know some of these glasses could sell for you know $20 or more. And I got all six of those for 10 bucks. So definitely a good uh, pickup on that. And then this one here was cool. It's a tall glass for a uh, Philo Rockwell King III. And this was when he was performing in Massachusetts. He normally performed over there. He was a pianist and you could see the piano keys on top. It's um, uh, hard to find that. There is someone who has one available now for like in the like mid to high 20s. This was amazing. This is probably my second favorite one. This is really a nice vintage piece. It's all sequins. Look at that. I mean, that's incredible. There's one right now online for like $55, has like 15 watchers or something. Uh, this is a size large and only two bucks. I couldn't believe it. I was like, wow, awesome. Now, I was tempted to pick this one up, but I passed because it was so flimsy. There was no label on it or anything. So I just, I just left it behind. Um, Maybe a mistake, I don't know. But uh, this one really stood out to me. Um, it's it's a nice um, vintage brand right there, uh, the Bonnie Boer and the uh, the playwright masks right there were really cool. That really helped it uh, stand out. She would the person who owned this house would wear these when she was performing. So and she would change between sets. So that's a nice one too. The Jane Ashley, I picked that one up. Nice and bright and colorful. Um, so uh, I just added that one to the box and then, uh, I found another one, uh, behind it. Um, this one is a New York state one. I liked it. It has the pins on it. It's, you can see right there, it's Dickies. So good brand, uh, New York state, uh, department of environmental conservation, and it's a wild, uh, life or wilderness, uh, rescue one. So that, that was pretty cool too. All right, so I'm very happy. I got that entire box of estate sale contents for $35. I should get that all back and then some with just the uh, jacket with the sequins on it. So um, excited to uh, move on to the next sale and see if we can find anything else. All right, it's time to hit up another estate sale. Looks like this is a one level house. Well, 
nothing in here except this really cool free Seattle mug. How awesome is that? Boy, that one was a dud, and that's sometimes what happens when you go to a family-run estate sale like that, and sometimes you make out really well, but you know, other times that happens. Although it wasn't a complete dud because I did get this really cool cup. Um, you know, it reminds me of Seattle Laura, uh, Laura Cohn, a moderator uh, of my YouTube channel and also in my Facebook group. I figured she would like, uh, this is really neat. So, and the other thing is it kind of uh, pops out. It's almost like embossed in a way. I mean, it's really neat. So uh, free, yeah. And uh, that, that's all I wound up getting and um, didn't pay anything. So awesome. On to the next one. All right, well, this is advertised as a four-family garage sale, so looks like there's a bunch of stuff there, so let's go take a look. So I see the same Yoda from a prior garage sale in a different video with the same stitching abnormality, and I say, wait a minute, this is all the same stuff from a different garage sale just brought to a different house. Oh, well, nothing there after all, just mostly a bunch of stuff I saw at a prior sale that they all brought over here, so... Um, we're going to head to one more thing. There's one more estate sale and um, then we're going to wrap up for the day. Well, my fault. I thought there was an estate sale, but I got the date wrong. However, I did find this garage sale. So we'll check this out as the last place of the day. Very cool item here. Buffalo Bills vintage ice bucket. Really neat. Uh, there's one online right now uh, going for like 30 bucks without the lid. So I'm like, this has the lid and the tag. Perfect. Uh, this is a really great pickup here. All right. Well, this is a great way to end the day. Overall, a nice treasure hunt. Uh, very happy with the results. And now we're going to head back to Primetime Treasure Headquarters. All right, everyone, I'm gonna do what this shirt says. I'm gonna chillax here at PTHQ. It's a gorgeous day and I wanna enjoy the rest of it. So uh, look forward to some more treasure hunts. Uh, let me know down below what your favorite item was that I found today. And of course, if there's anything that you like that I found and you want me to list it for you, let me know that and I will give that item preference and then tell you uh, when it's posted. Uh, but with that, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of the day. Make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all at the next one. Take care.